Okay, so today I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all on uh, some basic fish functions, and uh, I'll have the uh, little functions in the description, however many of them can fit. I don't know, but I'm gonna be going over some fish functions today, right? So, uh, in order for y'all to see that, I'm gonna go ahead and bring over one of my windows here, and I'm gonna go over them real quick, and then I'll just put them in the description for you. So, uh, here's some functions real quick. Uh, this is a uh, function SKG. Uh, what this does is this runs uh, skim, which is the uh, Rust version of FZF, FZ fuzzy, the fuzzy finder F FZF, blah, blah, tongue twister. Anyway, so it, it works faster because it's based on skim. Uh, also, if you compile the, the skim binary where you have your, all your libraries, and because that's one of the features of Rust, you can compile your libraries. And you compile, you compile your libraries into the binary, and it's all one static binary, so it'll work a lot faster. Uh, so that lets you, I'll show you what this command does real quick. So let's see if you want to find something real quick right here. Like that, see? Searches, and you know, this lets you search text that's in files, like that, right? So that's one. Here's another one. This is called FCS App Search. Now I posted another one uh, about this one function, one video. This, this is actually newer video, uh, video and this function is actually better. So, uh, let's say if you want to search your apps, uh, you can search right here, right? And this is all the apps that are installable. You don't even have to like run anything else. You just, these are all the apps that are in app cache that have already been cached. So if you want to install like a systemd app, here's all your systemd stuff. You just multi-select it, press enter. You know, and install those apps and stuff for you. Uh, so that's one. That's another function. Uh, check syslog. Uh, this one right here. If you want to go ahead and put this one in here. You run this right here. Uh, this is a log checker, right? So this checks your system log. So you just type in uh, check syslog if you're using the fish shell, and that will show you uh, the last 40 lines of your fish log, and you can. Pretty much change however many lines you want to show at the end of your log right here. So if you want to show 400, 40, whatever. I just like to see the last bit of my log. So I just type that in. In fact, I don't even need to do that much. I can do like 30, right? Uh, here's some git function. Uh, here's a git uh, git function. Git remove cached arg. So this will remove uh, files from the remote. Here's a conda search function. This will search your conda apps, but if you search stuff in conda with the standard conda search, you'll notice that um, when you search one thing, it will have like 20 listings for that one item. So instead, this sorts it by unique, so it's only like it only shows one unique item instead of showing like 20. Right? And whenever you do install on them, it always usually installs the newest version anyway. So uh, here's a git function for git push all. So it does a commit and then it. Uh, does a push and all in a force. Uh, here's one. Hey, you're not in dense, right? Get over there. What? What the hell's it doing? Okay, that's kind of. Okay, these guys aren't in agreement right here, so we're just gonna have to like keep them a little longer. All right. Uh, here's a git uh, add push all function. Git add. So it adds all the files, and then it pretty much does the same thing as this right here. And then a git pull all reset. Right. So. Uh, if you this will just do a hard reset and then I'll repull it so you know and then this is just a git pull all without the reset and then this is an SSH X function so this runs uh, this does X forwarding with compression and it does it uh, as uh, uh, what is it authorized or um, anyway authorized so these are some good functions that I thought were good uh, they should help you all out if y'all want to know you just put this if you want to use these function you put this in your config fish file which is located right here so cat home uh, home user so my username is usr and config fish this is the same as bash rc but for fish right here right so this is where we're going to put them in you're going to put them all in this one file right there those functions you know whenever you type them in they'll call them up anyway if you like the video like and subscribe out